to those who celebrate Christmas and a happy holidays. So today, in the spirit of gift giving, I decided to give y'all a video this week that is Christmas themed because I just love y'all so much. So you're welcome, boo-boo, you're welcome. So in this week's video, I'm going to be doing a what Christmas morning is really like because we all know that waking up is a real struggle, first of all, and then the whole process of opening presents is another struggle and it's a whole other ordeal. It is mm -mm, hot mess, girl, hot mess. If you are new to my channel, then hello! We have Netflix and pizza parties every week. I upload videos on every hashtag Flawless Friday. Currently, you are watching my holiday series, which is called hashtag Flawless Holidays. And if you want to be a part of our hashtag Flawless Fam, please be sure to go down there and click the subscribe button because I am welcoming you with warm, open arms. We have milk and cookies as well. So, without further ado, let's get into the video. <gasps> So when waking up on Christmas morning, you expect to look all beautiful and flawless in your cute Christmas PJs and everything, but in reality, you have a messy hairdo and it's just not a good look, girl. What time is it? 10 in the morning. Ugh. So once you wake up, you want to get ready. And let me tell you, this is a real struggle because everyone is in a rush to take pictures and they all want to get it done in early because they want to be the first ones to post on their Facebook when nobody uses Facebook nowadays. If you do, no offense. But let me tell you, like you want to look cute and all and you want to put your makeup on, but in actuality, you're going to be in no makeup, bedhead, and in your Christmas PJs and you're like, I want to get dolled up though. So it's a struggle. So opening presents, this is its own ordeal, like let me tell you, this is a real struggle because when you open your presents, the person that you're receiving the present from is like, who is that from? Hmm, I wonder who that's from. I wonder what's in it. Oh my god, open it, open it. It's like, it's like girl, I know that's from you, chill. And while you're trying to open your present, everyone's like, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me take a pic real quick. Don't open it just yet. Okay, now open it. And then another relative is like, hold on, hold on, hold on. I need to get it on my flip phone too. And it's like, girl. Phil here came all the way from Georgia. He needs to take pictures to post on his Facebook to show his friends over there that he has family, okay? Hold on. Yeah, yeah, no problem. Yeah. Wait, and your great aunt Susie over here needs to take a picture. She just got a new raise the flip phone. She's a little behind on the times. Don't mind her. <laughs> And sometimes when you do open your gifts, it is a letdown. And I know y'all should be grateful for getting your gifts, but let's be honest here, there is at least this one gift in your lifetime where you're like, oh, yeah, I, I love it. Mm-hmm, it's great, yeah. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. I love it, it's, it's toilet paper. Jolly AF. And then when you give a gift to someone else, you expect an amazing reaction from them because you're so proud of your hard work and dedication and shopping and everything. And then when they open it, they're like ungrateful and you're just like, what? Oh my gosh, I hope you like it. I've been searching far and wide for these. Here. You got me tickets to see Taylor Swift. Do you like it? Bruh. You know I wanted to see Justin Bieber, man. His new album, Purpose, gave me a purpose. Ooh. 
Alright everyone, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, please be sure to give this video a big ol' thumb up. Also, leave me a comment down below if there is another awkward situation that you encounter on Christmas morning that I did not film in this video. Hopefully y'all could relate to some of these because I know Christmas morning can be exciting but also stressful and a real struggle because hashtag relatable. But yes, I am super excited for the new year. Oh my gosh, 2016. It's gonna be our year. It's gonna be the flawless year. It's just gonna be known as the flawless year, okay? But until then, stay you, stay true to yourself, and remember to be flawless is to be yourself. Bye!